need FIFA coins, check out the FIFAshop.co.uk. What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the Future of FIFA series. Today our topic is going to be regarding happy hours. Now, happy hours used to be a kind of addition to Ultimate Team where you'd get one hour and in that one hour you'd get an enhanced chance of getting a uh, inform or a special card or whatever kind of special cards such informs EA were releasing at the time. Now, this used to be pretty cool because, you know, obviously you wouldn't have to buy like 100k packs or 50k packs to try and enhance your chances of getting an inform. It would be more to the fact that, you know what, anyone can, can, can kind of afford this because you can just buy 7.5k premium gold packs and you still have an enhanced chance of getting an inform. You can buy a bronze 1.5k pack and you'd still get an enhanced chance. So, um, so there's no bronze 1.5k packs, they're like 450 coins or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of thing, that's, that's what I was thinking of. But, there's a few ways which I think if EA did bring it back, they could potentially make it much better than what it was before, despite it being pretty much, you know, already perfect. So, as you guys know, EA and their servers aren't the greatest in the world, so I personally believe if Happy Hour was reintroduced um, for like a certain hour, say, right, 8pm, Happy Hour, new informs in the team of the week, and also a Man of the Match card is going to be released as well, then pretty much the servers would crash, you wouldn't be able to get onto the store, especially if it was a really good inform, say Ibrahimovic got a Man of the Match card, the server, it would just... It would just be like team of the year all over again. So, how about this? Have six 10 minute slots, which will obviously equate to an hour, which is usually what happy hours were um, around for. And you would do six 10 minute slots across the evening or across the day, so that all time zones obviously are, um, are suited by it. And that way, EA wouldn't have to really, EA wouldn't have to announce when they were doing the 10 minute um, happy hour, they would genuinely just be like, right, throughout the next five hours there's going to be six ten minute slots and that's when the happy hours are going to be. It's your luck if you find it, if you don't, then that's just, you know, un unlucky mate. Um, so, yeah, that way, you know, obviously everyone wouldn't be there waiting, queuing up for the store kind of thing and then it wouldn't really get bugged out. But, that is, um, I personally think, a, a pretty good idea uh, that they could introduce. Now, for the second second idea, I personally believe if EA had something where they could, you know, release all the informs at once that have ever been on FIFA up to that date, that would be pretty cool. I, I know it's like a massive thing to ask, and it'd probably be something which would have to be introduced at the end of one of the FIFAs, um, towards the end of, you know, like the season or in the summer, which is when, you know, all the new stuff for the next FIFA is going to be coming out, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think of that, and also the ability to purchase happy hours. Now, I personally don't believe, um, well, I personally believe happy hour has been taken away because of market problems, and, you know, now that Ultimate Team has a larger audience and has a larger uh, user base, you know, maybe EA feel like it would mess up the market a little bit, but you've got to think about this. If there was an option to buy an enhanced hour to open packs with, then that could be something which EA could genuinely, you know, make a bit of money out of. Um, and obviously it'd be something which we would probably want to see. Now, knowing EA, they'd probably release these at a ridiculous price. But if there was something cheap, maybe if you could buy them with just coins um, or you'd have to earn them, say you won 10 games in a row, then you'd get five packs, which would be an enhanced chance of getting in form. I think there should be more rewards for Ultimate Team players because there's a lot of bad things about the game and a lot of, well, a lot of flaws with the game. There's not many bad things, but there's a lot of flaws with the game. And I think it would be cool for EA to kind of have some things which you can earn. Um, rather than always, always having to buy. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys think that is something that you think should be introduced as well. And I want to know in the comment section below if there was a happy hour that was reintroduced into Ultimate Team, how would you make it? Would you make it so, you know, all informs were released at the same time? Would you make it 10 minute slots? Would you make it just a full hour? Let me know in the comment section below and the best idea will receive 
a giveaway from me. So uh, make sure you're around for that and make sure you drop a comment in the comment section below. Also, put in brackets after underneath your, after your comment, whether you're on Xbox, PC, or PlayStation. Thank you very much, guys. Have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more videos like this and ideas. And peace.